Hi everyone! This is a video review of the Transformers Combiner Wars Leader Class Thundercracker. Part of the Transformers Generations 2015 Combiner Wars line. As you can see, here's Thundercracker inside of the packaging with a nice artwork of Thundercracker on this corner. You can see the nice red Autobot Generations logo here on the upper right hand corner. On the side here we see more of the artwork we saw in the front of Thundercracker. It's pretty nicely drawn too. And on the back we see a bio for Thundercracker. And also we see a picture of Thundercracker in his robot mode and his jet mode. On the side we see a nice picture of the Autobot symbol in a meteor, uh, which is something we've seen before on Age of Extinction um, movie action figures. And on the back we see a bunch of details about this toy, which I don't think I need to go through right now. And again we see the meteor symbol on top. But, uh, yeah, that's it for the packaging. Now, as my friend Optibotomus would say, let's open this guy up. <laughs> Sorry. Let's open this guy up and see how cool he actually is. Okay, here's Thundercracker opened up and out of his packaging. Uh, hold on. The toy is much, uh, smaller than <laughs> the, um box so I just have to position my camera <laughs> camera a bit Yeah, that's more like it. Okay, and here's Thundercracker in his robot mode. Um, he does come with this nice card. <laughs> he comes with this nice card here, as you can see. I think I believe this is either art from IDW or the Transformers Legends game. And you can see it has the ordinary Transformers Generations. Um, thing on the back. Um, and he also comes with this nice gun with a missile. Which I don't think is necessary, but can put in his arm. And right here. And this will actually shoot a missile. For about... Uh, goes pretty far. I'd say it can fly out for a little over a yard. But as for the robot mode itself, it's a retool of Jetfire, but it looks very much like Thundercracker. It's, as you can see, not Thundercracker, um, yeah, his name is Thundercracker, sorry about that. You can see he's got this nice remolded chest. Um, he's got these uh, blasters on the sides. They're actually attached to his forearms, but... They actually look very much like the blasters he has in the cartoon and the comics and in G1 generally. He does have these things which I suppose come from Jetfire. Originally they go in the forums but you got these things right here which are better. And you also got the uh, these blaster things which also went on Jetfire's legs which still look pretty cool on this toy. I like the remolded chest. It's very accurate to how Thundercracker looks in the IDW comics. 
like the Decepticon symbol here. Um, these blasters are molded pretty well. I like this new head sculpt. <laughs> Legs still look great on this toy. And as for the articulation, the arms can go around, but the wings get in the way. No wrist, but you do get a nice elbow bend, 90 degrees, I think. Uh, turns at the bicep. The heads turns around. I don't think it doesn't seem to look up, though. Uh, sorry, for some reason this doesn't hasn't locked in yet. Legs go out. About that far, they go back and forth, by 90 degrees, and this could go up and down as well. Yeah. The only gripe I have with this figure, and it may also be a problem on the Jetfire figure, is that this whole body piece around the around the chest looks kind of flat. As you can see, there's not a whole lot of with going between the front and the back but that's probably so it can look slimmer in jet mode and because it also goes along with this whole backpack thing which turns into the Jetfire Jet or Thundercracker's airplane mode yeah but overall a very nicely sculpted robot mode and it's a great figure with really great articulation just like the leader class jet fire now transform this guy hold on I should take these off to make it easier it's a uh, very similar to jet fire take these arms put them up here think these legs I believe go up here hold on a lot of this stuff needs to tab in but just want to capture the general idea of how to transform this guy on camera first I think you turn this head around now this piece is supposed to show up on top here, so hold on. Make it easier on yourself and just flip these bits up. When you push this to the top. And this nose is supposed to just go over that piece. Hold on, it's tough to get this on camera, so... Okay, now I see the problem. This piece was colliding with this silver bit right here, so I just get that over it, and... Yeah. Next you can just get this nose down. Flip this out. And yeah. Here's Thundercracker, uh, pretty much in his vehicle mode. It's a very great looking vehicle mode, and despite it being a retool of Jetfire, it still looks pretty great. As you can see, you got the nice silver right here, uh, the blue wings with the red, and the Decepticon symbols on top of them. The black fins with the silver paint and the red stripes. And... Yeah, you got the nice nose with a black tip. Pretty cool co looking cockpit with two seats and opens up. Um, let's see, you get some nice landing gear on the bottom also. And yeah, I'm pretty glad it folds toward the back. That way you don't have to worry about it going upward as you're rolling it forward. I suppose you could just roll it backward and it would go. And I don't. 
doesn't seem to be much of a problem if you're not going too fast with it. Okay, now it went back, but... All in all, this is a very great looking jet boat. Uh, the only problem with it is the amount of kibble you get on the sides and the bottom, but I suppose these fists can be turned down and I already have the head turned down here and this doesn't really even look all that bad underneath. Really? Yeah, so all in all, good looking robot, I'm sorry, vehicle mode that captures the Thundercracker look, paint scheme, and still looks very cool while utilizing the jet fire mold. And you can also get some of the weapons underneath as well. And these black bits seem to be more useful for his jet mode. So he can have them all armed and dangerous. You can also get this gun to go underneath his uh, nose. So, yeah, the weapon storage is pretty good. Um, you don't store these weapons in any place that would make the figure look bad, but aside from kibble from the side and from the bottom, which you wouldn't see for the most part, this vehicle mode is almost perfect for Thundercracker. And you've also got some panel lines right here which aren't painted. I'm not sure if Jetfire had them also but they still look pretty cool. I especially like the ones on the wings and this molded detail right here. And on the silver bits. Except for the screw hole which kind of messes it up but it'd look great if it wasn't there. And <laughs> they do well for hiding the articulation seam. Now transform this guy back. It's relatively simple matter. Just get the chest piece down. Get this nose piece up. That's odd. How do I? Yeah. Hold on, I think these need to be pushed forward a bit, yeah. So I want to get this chest piece to tab into this, these silver pieces here, so legs don't come out when you're moving them. <laughs> like they did when I was showing you guys the articulation earlier, but anyway, get the silver there's a tab right here, and you're supposed to get no a slot right here, and you're supposed to get a tab on the gray pieces to go inside that tab. Yeah, those silver pieces I think are supposed to go down. Again. Okay, I think it's securely in now. I just gotta get this. I just wanna make sure these. Well, maybe it's not a big deal, but. Get these fins down. So I wanna make sure there's these tabs that not only go into the wings, but also the chest itself, so you gotta push that in. Turn this head around, and yeah, now I've got uh, Thundercracker in his robot mode. All in all, this is a very great figure. Again, I like the molded chest, which is new on this figure. The shoulder pads and the new blasters. Including, I also like this new head sculpt as well. 
And this Thundercracker retains many of the things which made Jetfire a great figure. It's got the same legs, the same transformation, and it looks great in vehicle mode. Now this is going to hit retail soon, so I say if you really like Thundercracker, this is something you might want to pick up and add to your collection. Well, that's it for my review. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash legendantihero. You can also follow me on Instagram. My username there is legendaryantihero. And you can add me at Facebook at facebook.com slash legendantihero. Well, that's it, you guys. Goodbye. And please, sub to my videos. Please subscribe.